This episode of Whiskey Board Games is brought to you by Good Games, Australia's online leading retailer for board games, card games and other collectibles. Make sure you check them out today. Hey guys, it's Hala here from WhiskeyBoardGames.com and today I'm going to teach you how to play Pandemic The Cure, a dice-based version of the popular disease control board game. First I'm going to show you the setup, how to play a turn and more importantly the components inside the box. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you what's actually in the box for Pandemic The Cure before I teach you how to set up the game and play a few turns. So first of all, you're going to have five of these action cards. So it's just a reminder of all the different actions that are available in the game. So you give one of those to each player who's playing. You're also going to have a series of roll cards, all with different colours and different abilities. And for each roll, you're going to have a series of coloured dice. For the Dispatcher, it's going to be a bunch of pink dice. Medic will have orange, generalist will have grey, etc. You are also going to have a series of event cards which will be familiar to any player of Pandemic. Uh, we'll explain how these work uh, when I teach you how to play the game. You will also have a cure disease tracker. Uh, so that's just to, you know, make sure everyone knows which diseases you've cured during the game. You're also going to have a series of pawns matching the uh, colour of the different roles that you play throughout the game. You will also have this nifty little rice bag with four disease cubes of uh, each colour. So you've got red, blue, yellow and black. Also familiar for those who have played the original Pandemic board game. You are also going to have a ton of location discs, each with a specific die number on the top of it there. I'll explain how that works later. You will also have a CDC disc. Once again, I'm going to explain that in just a few minutes. And finally, you have what is essentially the game board here, which has uh, two syringe markers to keep track of your biohazards, epidemics, and outbreaks. So now that you know the different components in the box, let's uh, set it up and show you how to play. Okay, so to begin the game, you give the players their roll card and their corresponding dice. You put three event cards visible on the table and you place the player pawns in position number one. Then you delve into the dice bag and you pull out 12 random die. Two, four, six, oh, a lot of same colors here. Eight, nine, ten. So this is our starting uh, disease pool. You will then roll all 12 and then place them on the corresponding tiles. So this one will be three, three, one, one, six. Uh, pluses aside for later. Six, one. Ooh, area one's not looking that great. Now any plus symbols that you roll during the initial setup phase, you need to re-roll because you can't add them to the CDC. So we've got another six and we've got a three and another three that I didn't see there. Okay, so that is the setup phase. So then you decide somehow um, who will go first. I'm gonna start with the dispatcher. So you grab all five dice of that color and actually we need to set this back to intro just for the video. Okay, so. So the thing with uh, pandemic rolls is that you can keep re-rolling your dice as many times as you want to get the desired outcome, except for biohazards, which I've rolled first turn. So a biohazard acts immediately, so we move this up by one. All right, so let's see what I can do here. I can fly anywhere I want with my plane, but first I'm going to cure a red by using that syringe. I'm gonna add another red into the pool there. I think I'm going to fly over to zone number three and use, so this one has a slash, so I can choose to use it as a flight or a syringe. I am going to use a syringe to throw a blue into the middle. And that is the end of my dispatcher's turn. So now we take a look here and in the intro phase, we need to infect by three. So I reach into the dice bag and pull out three random die. Da, 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 da. And we give those a roll. All right, so lucky I removed some of those reds because we could have been on the verge of an outbreak there. And they go there, and now it is the medic's turn. So, Mr. Medic or Mrs. Medic, depending who, we roll the die. And also gets a biohazard. I'm a terrible roller. And that's what this game sort of brings out. You are constantly on the defensive. Okay, so I could boat somewhere or I could use a syringe. I think I'm going to use a syringe and throw a red into the middle. 
I am then going to take a sample of red because we're going to start to try and cure that one. So I take this and place it on my medic roll card. Now next turn I can't re-roll that sample so that's why it's locked up. So you need to be quickly trying to get a cure. I am going to use this syringe to throw a blue into the bag because I want to keep dice going back in there so we do not run out. Now I don't really need this plane right now so I'm going to go ahead and re-roll it. And it's a syringe or a boat. I don't really want that. I want to try and get a bottle, so I'm re-roll. And it's a biohazard, so that's the risk that you run into. So we move that biohazard up. Now you cannot re-roll biohazards, and I have spent all of my action dice already. So that is the end of the medic's turn. I then reach into the bag. Infect again by three. All right, so we got something on the CDC there with a plus. We move that to a four and this to a three and we're getting close to an outbreak, but luckily the dispatcher is there. So now it is the dispatcher's turn. And there we go. And, and oh God, this is horrible. Three biohazards straight off the gate. So we move that directly. One, two, three, and we crossed over into a new region. So it's epidemic time. So what happens with the epidemic? as I said before, but so you guys can see it in action. I look at the current infection rate, which is three. So I grab out three random dice. And then I take everything that's in the treatment center and add that to the pool. And then we roll. Okay, so this one goes to a plus. Uh, to a one, that's a plus, that's a plus. So that wasn't too horrible. Another one there. We've got a three here. We take a look around and we've got our very first outbreak over here. So this uh, should have been on zero. So it is now on one. And we move that three clockwise. Okay, so these cannot be spent. I'm too scared to re-roll at this point and we still want to capture some reds. Um, but I'm over here, so I'm gonna get rid of one of these blacks because I don't want another outbreak. So that one has been spent. And then I am going to just fly, fly away over to the corner over here. Okay, so let's take a look at these events. I can move any two infection dice from any region to the treatment center. I'm gonna spend two on that one right now. So I take the event card and I play it and I'm gonna move a red from here because I don't want an outbreak and I'm gonna move um, another red from here because we want to get samples. So that card has been spent and we discard it rather and we put a new one into play which is sample delivery. Give any number of samples from uh, one player to another player no matter where they are. So that means we don't need to be in the same region to share samples but that's not an issue right now. So now the medic gets to have their turn. There's no biohazards now. We got one of the medic special tools here, which is two syringes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that straight away. Um, we got a bunch of, of movement um, tokens here. So let's use a flight token to get over to this region. Let's use a treatment token to put a black cube in the middle there. And let's re-roll this dice. And it's a sample, which is exactly what we needed. So let's take another red. So I've got two red dice here. I could try and roll for a cure, but my chances of getting a 13 are literally impossible because I can only roll 12 as my highest. So I'm gonna end that, the medic's turn there. All right, so now I'm just gonna skip ahead and show you how you roll for a cure. So let's just say that we got another sample here. I've got three on the table. I might've taken another one. So I've got four. At the end of a player's turn, they can take their four samples or however many samples they have, Five would be the max unless you're the generalist because you have an extra dice and you roll. I got 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so it is cured. We take one of these, put it on the cured diseases tab and the rest go in the bag. If we had not have rolled a 13, which would have been sad with four dice, but let's just say it happened, then you simply take the four samples back, put your four sample dice back on top of them and then you can take a chance to roll them next turn or you could hand them off to another player if need be. So there you have it. Now you know how to play Pandemic the Cure, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around because we have a review coming up the next week.